cute, but a little too dark. Oh, this one. No, too plain. Cherry? Oh, Greg, I'm glad you're here. I need your help. No, I'm not helping you decide whether to go with the pink one or the purple one. No, this is different. Please. Oh, all right. What is it? I need a new hair tie to wear for Terry's party. I can't find my old one anywhere. Do you really think Terry's gonna care if you have your hair down? Well, he'll obviously say something about it. Okay, okay. What's the problem? Um. Should I get the pink one or the purple one? <sighs> Jerry, next time. Ask someone who actually gives a damn. Greg, you're so mean. Come on, I need help. I thought you were my friend. What are you two fighting about this time? Terry? Um. Uh. Oh, is something wrong, Cherry? Where's your hair tie? See? Um. Don't ask. Please, don't ask. Huh? Oh. It was in my pocket the whole time. <laughs> Wait a minute. What are you doing out here, Terry? Doesn't your party start in half an hour? We're missing a few things, so I came out to get some groceries. What do you need? This much? I thought all of you people would be more organized. Come on, it's Saturday. Even I have my lazy days. Unacceptable. I'm coming with you, honestly. You, where do you think you're going? Home. No, you're helping us, and you're coming to this party. Hey, I don't have time for this. Quiet. Seriously, why do I have to go? Because you're an eyewitness, and it's your duty. Terry. <laughs> Sorry, Greg. You're on your own. This isn't fair. How about I buy you a jar of pickled beets after we're done, and we'll call it a day. You win this round, you two. Yay! Let's go. Huh? What are you two waiting for? Come on! Jerry, there are no cashiers. So they're probably all on a coffee break. At the same time. Why not? It happens. Terry, we'll worry about it later. The clock is ticking. We gotta get those groceries for Terry. I've got a bad feeling about this. No kidding. Open on a business day and a bunch of no-shows. There are no customers here either. Ah! Terry. Okay. We have to help those people. They're trapped in there. But why is the freezer? How should I know? It could be one of Coldheart's leftover experiments. I don't care what it is. We have to help them. Tenderheart star action. Cheer action. Rumpy action. Wait a minute. It stopped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh, look. It's the Care Bear Stars. Indeed. The ones Professor Coldheart told us about. You're a couple of Coldheart's creations? Oh, well, duh. That's why we're so cool. <laughs> Okay, that was so not funny. Then get us into humor, you little bitch! Yeah! Huh? Hey, watch it! Sparkling! Run! Oh! Why, you... Doesn't 
I'd ever learn. Ultimate Thunder! Yowza! Don't look so shocked. The professor never told us you were this powerful. Not too cute to be this violent. Well, looks can be deceived. And what the professor obviously didn't tell you, I'll tell you right now. The Care Bear Stars will always be there, no matter what happens. How the hell can this happen? They're about to godforsaken kids dressed up like teddy bears! This does not bode well for our reputation! <laughs> Dad's gonna kill me. Well, the thing about bad guys is they are really inconsiderate when it comes to other people's schedules. Like some people. Huh. Oh. My. God! It's the Care Bear Stars! Um, you're a cheer bear, aren't you? Can I have your autograph? Uh, of, of course! <laughs> oh my gosh! Cheer Bears love your outfit! Hey, hey, Grumpy, send her heart, sign my butt. Excuse us? Wow. Uh, just oh my kidding, God, it's my baseball cap then. Oh my God, I mean, I'm I've been like, like a big fan of yours from the very beginning. Oh, you Oh, you want to sign here. <laughs> Man, you guys are the best. Hey, Kevin. Anything you need from the store? On the house. You guys deserve it, man. Pierce is so cool. Totally. Well, boys, I wouldn't say this was all for nothing. <laughs> I guess. Now I just have to come up with a legitimate excuse for being late.